feel something building up inside me. I must prepare, I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. Hey, Dad! Hey, guys. Uh, today, I'm spending a little time on the aquaponics system. Of course, I'm going to double the size of it this year and uh, let me slowly turn. I'll show you this. Uh, it's all going to be right along there to the middle. But I'm just now getting it cleaned out. And I'll give you a little closer view of the map. Right, you can see how everything is way overgrown. And, and I don't particularly know. Oh, stuck my arm and stinging now, sorry. What this little plant is, uh, somebody gave me gave it to me and, and said it was medicinal. Told me then what it was, but of course uh, I lost track of what they told me. Uh, let me get this stick out of here. Now this is horsetail, and I'm sure everybody knows the horsetail is for uh, uh, it, getting rid of infection. Like if you drink a tea with. Uh, this horsetail in it, it'll, it'll get rid of a, a abscess tooth in one day. And I know the, I know it works. All right, but this is just see, seeing how it's uh, overgrown. And I'm cleaning it out, and I have a bunch of cold crops that uh, I'm going to fill it up with uh, elderberries and all the cuttings I took off the elderberries. And I still have one stevia that still looks alive. I'm going to trim it up and see if I can keep it alive. Uh, aloes are looking sad. That's a, a medicinal aloe. I need to get it into a, a, another container. But you can see how all of these desperately need uh, cleaning. And I'm going to clean them out. I'm going to let y'all watch. And then I'm going to put some of these plants. Let me show you this before I show you those other plants. Uh, that along there the, the big thing with the little leaves that is cranberries and I have really started manufacturing cranberries I probably have 50 of them now and they love aquaponics and for some reason the berries haven't gotten full grown yet but I'm kind of thinking it's because they're young plants so I'm really curious to see what happens with all the cranberries I have these are some of the plants that I have ready to to go in the aquaponics as soon as I get ready. I have some smaller ones too. A bunch of lettuce, some more Swiss chard, uh, cilantro, and uh, some more cabbage. So I'm going to put those all in. I'm going to clean up the aquaponics. going to let y'all watch and put those all in the aquaponics. But it's still very messy. have planned for the first aquaponics bed. Putting it, I have a, I put some little uh, regular salaries uh, at the ends, but I'm going to have these nice uh, red leaf lettuces. And right here I'm going to grow out some cilantro. Of course I'll just shake the dirt off of them before I put them in the dirt. But these over here, they have such little dirt. I mean, it's very easy to try to get this one handle. Just rake it aside, kind of put it there. Just like that. Took all around two minutes to plant this entire thing. So, there we go. Let's move on to the next. All right, in in my aquaponics bed, I have a boggy grow bed. I don't, I don't know why it just uh, it just stays always just stays a little bit boggy in it, and you can see that it's it builds up a little bit of water. So I bought some organic black rice, and I'm going to give it a try on. I mean, I don't know how much to put in there or anything. Uh, 
But I'm gonna try and scream it on this in this bed and see what happens. I'm just gonna put it out here for kind of abundantly. <laughs> I don't know if it's light germinated or what rice is. Uh, it's imagine it's a grass, so imagine it is light germinated. So I'm not going to cover it up much. I don't know. I probably put 500 seeds there, maybe too much, but let's see if uh, some of them will take. It's a little bit dark, but I think everybody can see. Uh, this is what I put in the first bed. This is a uh, muscadines and scuffadines. Uh, a friend of mine asked me to to take cuttings for him, so I, I took some cuttings off his uh, plants and started them in aquaponics. In the second one, I put uh, some cabbages in there, and this is the one with the cranberry. I don't know if you've seen my cranberry video. I put those all in there. The next one, I have some cabbages over there, and then the rest is little broccoli plants everywhere. Okay. And y'all saw me do the rice it's up there, and then I put these lettuces there. Stick in there. Oh, sorry, got that. And we saw the cilantro that's already standing up in the purple. That's. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'm certainly happy that I got my aquaponics uh, started over and working again and replanted. So I'll make another update as the plants get a little bigger. All right, guys, later. One, ove, ocho. Means I love you and you do. Live in the way you meant for me to live Is what I strive to do every day As I live off the land Lead me at your pace For you, Lord, I'll go for green living Help me to feed all the hungry Use me, Lord, to ease their misery from all this worldly pain and captivity. For you, Lord, I'll go for green living. I feel something building up inside me. <laughs> I must prepare. I must get ready for serving you, Yahweh me strong and steady for you, Lord, I'll go for green living, for you, Lord, I'll go for green living.